5,001. 5,002. So did you hear about that broadcasting class? What? You know, that broadcasting class. Oh yeah, I heard they got downgraded. Yeah, no more uh, HD high quality for them. Poor saps. I know, right? But where's that intern with that lunch? I don't know, he should be here any moment. <sighs> I'm done with my work. Yeah, me too. So we're done here? Yeah, we're done. Uh, this pop tarts is so expensive. Hope these guys appreciate this. Okay. Hey guys, I got your pop. Tarts. Welcome back. My name is Wanda White and this is your Scorpion News. Hey Scorpions, did you enjoy your winter break? Because I know I did. This is a new year and a new semester. So we have a lot of new things in store for you. Such as the 14th annual Scorpion Talent Show. I am so excited. Auditions were held yesterday. But if you didn't get a chance to make the auditions, come support your fellow Scorpions in the actual talent show held on February 5th, 2011 at Oak Hills at 6 o'clock. Hey ladies, are you interested in playing powder puff football? If so, listen for the announcements to know when signups are in the student store. Now let's watch some featured segments. Hello Asparagus Scorpions. My name is Wanda White and I'm here with the lovely Miss McKinney who is the president of the Parent Center to talk to you Scorpions about the Parent Center. Miss McKinney, can you let us know any information about this program? Sure. Um, the Parent Center is a nonprofit parent organization. We were formed in 1996. I joined in 2004. I've been the president for the past three years. Um, Hesperia High School's Parent Center is their main goal to help students in need and also to create awareness with parents of what's going on on campus with their students. Okay, how much money do you guys raise? And like, with the money that you guys raise, what does it go toward? Um, all the money that we raise is mainly raised from the talent show. It used to be called the Felix Curie Memorial Talent Show, after Felix Curie, who used to teach here on campus. Uh, now they just call it the talent show. <laughs> but we still receive the majority of the profits from the talent show, and we use all those monies for cap and gowns for seniors in need, uh, yearbooks for seniors in need, and then we offer some scholarships each year for students who participate in the talent show. <laughs> See, I bet you guys didn't know that because I didn't even know that, so that's good. <laughs> well, Scorpions, well, as you can see, you can get a scholarship for being in a talent show if you guys want to participate and get a little bit of extra money in your pocket for participating in the talent show. Sign up. Well, thank you, Ms. McKinney. You're welcome. Hey, I'm Damian Wilkes. And my name is Carlos Vera. And this new segment of Hidden Talent is on Hip Hop. Hip Hop. Uh, hip Hop. Uh, hip Hop. Hey. All right, Carlos, that's, that's enough. Okay. We can do this. Okay, so. Though hip hop has its origins in urban neighborhoods associated with African American people and Hispanic people, there are other ethnicities that can dance to hip hop. For example, Cass Cassidy. Uh, hey. Hey, my name is Damian Wilkes, and we're back again. Unfortunately, Carlos Vera couldn't make it with us today. He got a little overwhelmed at the hip-hop party yesterday, but... Hi, my name is Michelle Vera, and I'm filling in for Carlos Mark. We have an additional hidden talent on campus, which is a teacher. Called Mr. Wake, an anatomy teacher on this campus. And he's going to show us how to break it down. Check it out.
Hope you enjoyed the segments. Are you a teacher or a club advisor? Do you want your news on our broadcast? If so, go to AsperiaBroadcasting.com. Click on the suggestion box and tell us what you want. Or you can email us directly at hispreyerbroadcasting at gmail.com. See you next time.